Uh, dear friends, in the previous uh, session, we studied phonetics and phonology, and we know the difference between phonetics and phonology. Phonetics is the study of the production, the transmission, and the reception of speech sounds. And uh, phonetics deals with the study of uh, the production, transmission, and reception of the speech sounds of all the languages of the world. Phonology is, of course, the study of the production, transmission, and reception of speech sounds of a specific language and we study the phonology of uh, English, how speech sounds are produced in the English language. We are studying that in detail. And now, of course, we have to move forward and today we are moving forward to the next topic and that is the speech mechanism. The speech mechanism. We have to understand what is the speech mechanism? The speech mechanism is the mechanism behind the production of speech sounds. It's very easy to understand. We study how speech sounds are produced in this particular area, speech mechanism. How do we produce the speech sounds? And it's very easy to understand. We learn the language from childhood onwards. A baby listens to, of course, its parents and it listens to, a baby listens to the friends and the neighbors and all. Slowly, slowly, the baby is responding to its surroundings. And, uh, of course, as it grows up, it produces sounds. A, 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 an adult or even a, an individual who, he, who, who can use the language when he or she perceives an object immediately responds to that particular situation and he is just uh, breathing air in. That is of course the very uh, immediate response of the nervous system of uh, the human body and that uh, breathing in and breathing out. Uh, it is the air that we breathe in and breathe out. It's the oxygen that is just uh, the uh, uh, the, the, the essence of our life. We live because we breathe in and we breathe out and it is the air that gives us uh, the energy and the strength to live. Similarly, it is the same air that we breathe in that is of course the energy for the production of uh, speech sounds and we can say that speech mechanism is based on the air stream mechanism. It is the air we breathe out and breathe in that helps us produce sounds. And based on the organs of speech through which the air passes into the human body and out of the human body, we have three types of uh, airstream mechanisms. The pulmonic airstream mechanism, the glottalic airstream mechanism, and the velaric airstream mechanism. And the terms pulmonic, glottalic, and velaric comes from the very specific organ or speech or the muscles of the human body which is involved in the production of the speech sounds or the passage of the air. And the pulmonic airstream mechanism. In the pulmonic airstream mechanism, what happens is we are discussing each of the three airstream mechanisms in detail right now. The pulmonic airstream mechanism, the glottalic airstream mechanism and the velaric airstream mechanism. The very first airstream mechanism, the pulmonic airstream mechanism. Okay, we have the pulmonic system in the human body. We have the respiratory system in the human body. And the respiratory system is, of course, uh, dependent on the lungs. And the initiator of the pulmonic airstream mechanism is the lungs of our body. Both of the lungs, the muscles of the lungs. It is the contraction and expansion. I repeat, the contraction and expansion of the muscles of the lungs that helps us breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So we breathe in air, it comes through our nostrils, goes through the nasal cavity, goes through the pharynx, goes down through the uh, vocal cords or the glottis, goes further down through the windpipe or trachea, 
and comes to the lungs. And when the lungs contract, the air is pushed out. And this particular passage of this movement of air from the muscles, from inside the lungs, to the windpipe, to the glottis or vocal cords, through, of course, the mouth cavity and the nasal cavity is what is known as pulmonic airstream mechanism. Pulmonic airstream mechanism. And the pulmonic airstream mechanism can again be divided into two. That is, of course, the aggressive airstream mechanism and ingressive airstream mechanism. The aggressive airstream mechanism and the ingressive airstream mechanism. The aggressive airstream mechanism is letting air out. Letting air out. That is, of course, puffing air out. From inside the lungs, the air is just pushed forth, puffed out. And sounds are produced that way by letting air go out of the lungs. And that is known as aggressive airstream mechanism. Aggressive airstream mechanism. And the next airstream mechanism is ingressive airstream mechanism. That is, air is just uh, taken into the lungs. We are breathing into the ingressive airstream mechanism. We are just sucking air into our hearts. And that process of uh, sucking air into our lungs is known as ingressive airstream mechanism. And we say that the speech sounds are produced by an aggressive airstream mechanism on one side and an ingressive airstream mechanism on the other side. So these are the uh, two main airstream mechanisms that helps us to produce speech sounds. Okay, two airstream mechanisms within the pulmonic airstream mechanism. And we have, of course, the glottalic airstream mechanism and the velaric airstream mechanism. So these two, we shall be discussing in the next session. So remember, we discuss the speech mechanism and the speech mechanism or the production of speech sounds is based on the air we breathe in. And that is known as the airstream mechanism. There are three types of air, airstream mechanism. That is pulmonic airstream mechanism, glottalic airstream mechanism, and velaric airstream mechanism. We studied, in this session, we studied the pulmonic airstream mechanism, that is producing sounds by pushing air out and sucking air in. Next, uh, we will be looking at the glottalic airstream mechanism and the uh, wheel arc airstream mechanism in the next session. Thank you very much for listening.